Somebody took my ham sandwich! We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to break in and say this. Here's the thing. I put, I put that ham sandwich in the fridge with my name on it, and somebody took it. It took it out. And if I find out who took it out, oh, boy. The payback will be rich. Can you train a hawk to fly in and steal someone else's sandwich? Whoever it is, I'll figure out what street they live on, go down to the courthouse, and legally change the name of the street to Sandwich Thief Street. Oh, ho, 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 the payback. Oh. And I'll open the box, and then the bees will fly out. Can you rent a panther? They'll never see that panther coming. Okay. <laughs> Maybe a quiz question will help me cool off. One of these early appliances was not particularly dangerous to households when it was introduced. Which one was it? Was it A, the toaster, B, the laundry machine, C, the toilet, or D, the refrigerator? It was C, because that trusty old toilet is always a friend. The rest were crazy dangerous. The toaster could burn everything down, the laundry machine could rip your arm off, and early fridges used toxic gases like methyl chloride as a refrigerant, which could leak out and be fatal to your entire household. This is one of those times where it's actually a good thing for us to say, they don't make them like they used to, because they could kill us. Back before refrigeration systems, if you wanted to cool your food down, you had to use ice and snow to keep your food cold. If you find a ham sandwich in the snow, don't eat it. Now, let's say I don't get over this whole sandwich situation. Let's say that I choose to hold a grudge. Somebody wronged me, and I want to wrong them right back. If I bide my time, plot my revenge, and wait until the exact right moment to strike, what popular phrase would I be demonstrating? Is it A, all's well that ends well? B, revenge is a dish best served cold? C, payback comes for the wicked? Or D, nuking the fridge? If you said C, you're wrong. But it would be a cool tagline for a movie. Payback comes for the wicked. It's B. Revenge is a dish best served cold is a French saying that means the revenge is a much more satisfying cool dish when the person least expects it. You let that wound fester. You let them fear when your payback is coming. And then you strike. And you know what? It is really satisfying. We're so used to seeing vengeance as a rewarding experience we write it into all of our stories and we give it to our heroes as something to strive for, something they should want. That's why when Jesus preached forgiveness instead of payback, people thought he was confused. They thought he was wrong. They were so comfortable with an eye for an eye. But Jesus had a radically different idea. He told us to cool down and forgive the people who hurt us. To want now? That's weird, right? That doesn't make any sense. He said when someone takes our stuff or hurts our feelings, or wrongs us in some way, that we make the first move towards forgiveness, not retaliation. Because we love others more than the diminishing rush of payback. You're not my enemy. You're a person. You're my brother. You're my sister. I want to clarify something real quick. Forgiving others isn't about being a doormat. That's like letting everyone walk all over you. That's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about just putting a bunch of ham sandwiches in the fridge and letting them get stolen over and over and over again. If you're being bullied or someone is hurting you, tell a trusted adult. They can help you pray for your enemies and protect your health. That's really important. The selfless love of Jesus gives every one of us a lifelong challenge. Will you practice forgiveness? As you cool down, are you going to let toxic vengeance leak out and destroy your household? Or are you going to let go of your anger and walk grudge free? Listen, this challenge, it's not easy. Payback is easy. Holding on to bitterness and resentment and grudges, that's super easy. But when we choose forgiveness, when we serve others instead of serving vengeance, we look like God. We become love to the people around us. And that's pretty cool. Instead of looking for vengeance, now I've got to look for lunch. I'm the quiz man. Goodbye. Tommy, do we have any leftover meat cake?